Hello everyone, 316, Lego Maniac 316 here, and back with another Morphin Monday Lightning Collection review. And as promised, I have here the Dino Charge Black Ranger that was a Target exclusive. Originally, this figure retailed for $19.99, was very hard and uncommon to find. Uh, I got lucky and found him for 10 bucks at a uh, new used toy store out of this world collectibles, uh, which is... You know, it was a really good deal. I didn't get a box. Uh, I do collect the boxes, so it kind of sucks. I don't have a box for him, but I'm not in the market to buy a box. Anyway, this figure comes with the standard fare for Lightning Collection uh, figures. You get the figure, you get a helmet, you get a uh, civilian head, you get four hands and weapons and an effect piece. Starting off with the hands, we get a left hand that's not quite a karate chop, but kind of works for it. The back of these are supposed to be painted silver, by the way. Uh, I might do that, just so you know. And you get a right-handed fist for easy punching. Hey, man, look at those knuckles. Oof. Wouldn't want to get hit by that. He also comes with his uh, sword here, which uh, the paint was chipping on my handle here. The type of paint that they use makes for easy chipping, so I don't pose him with this sword quite as much anymore. He also get the blaster slash morpher and the effect piece, which I really like this effect piece. It's just too bad. It can only be used on these figures because of the uh, ports. So you can see there's two holes. It'd be kind of hard to use this on a different figure, but I don't know. Maybe you can fudge it, but it looks good. Uh, the blaster itself, I do like how it was molded. You can see a lot of detail on this one, unlike the... Uh, ladder figures but it still kind of feels a bit cheap to me like it was just like overly painted yellow or something i just i can't put my finger on it but i do wish there was more detail at the very least i wish they painted in the red on the eyes for the morpher but otherwise you know it's a good weapon at least he has it and last accessory of course we get the civilian head sculpt which i think this is a fantastic uh, representation of chase I think it looks just like him, although he, he looks a little bit uh, cheeky, not cheeky, that's not the right word, like, uh, not fat, but, you know, like, he, he's got very uh, big cheeks, but, anyway, now we can take a look at the figure itself, and, again, standard fare for the line, this reuses the uh, Wave 1 Dino Charge Red figure, which I don't have, uh, I still need to get my hands on that figure, but Dino Charge Black reuses the same mold, except for the head, and of course the difference in the uh, dinosaur, of course this one being the Parasaur, so it's not a carnivore, it's got the, the more squarish teeth. I think that this figure came out really well, and honestly it's probably my favorite suit of that entire season next to uh, the Talon Ranger that was a comic book exclusive. Uh, but, you know, the the lines, not the lines, the uh, triangles here are nice painted yellow. None of them look off, uneven, or misplaced. Uh, the helm, Same thing with the helmet. No missing uh, odd or strange paint apps on that. Uh, the arms use that really nice textured um, pattern. And uh, it looks all to be the same color throughout, which is nice. Uh, the hands here on the figure uh, are the standard for the uh, Dino Charge Rangers, where one of them is just a regular open hand on this side, and then this one is a bit squarish down the bottom so that you can hold the sword in that hand. Now, there is one major issue with this figure, and that is the belt here. The black is supposed to be on the inside, and the gray is supposed to be the like Dino Charge logo. I would fix that myself, but truth be told, I don't know how. So I'm just not going to worry about it right now. i uh, probably get like a thumbtack, some black paint, some paint remover even. Uh, but, you know, really not too much to see here now. Uh, with my Dino Charge green figure, the legs are actually on backwards. So you know that it's on forwards if you see these two little uh, bars up at the front. That, and if you look at the shape of the leg, you never want it going inward. You want it going outward downward so i mean that really much covers the figure i mean it's good it's you know black all around i do have a little like a uh, mold mark there like a bit of flashing but 
it's kind of hard to notice. But, you know, getting this figure for 10 bucks was a steal. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the size comparisons. Let's get my trusty ruler here. Similar to Dino Charge Green, he stands close to 6.5 inches. And speaking of Dino Charge Green, here he is. And, uh, you know, they look good together. I still need to get red, gold, and pink. Uh, pink will be the easiest to get. Not sure about red and gold, though. Like I said, hopefully I can get them soon. And we'll do one more comparison to another Black Ranger of the line. I got here in Space Black. So, you know, looks pretty good. I, uh, I, You know, the Black Rangers in this line, they do a really good job with just, you know, black with the white colors usually just makes everything pop. And I don't think they've had too many misses, if any, with strictly Black Rangers. All right, I, I would say this is the part where we take a look at the box, but I don't have a box, so I'm just going to finish posing him, and then we'll uh, say if he's a good figure or not. So obviously, if you're collecting the line, if you're collecting Dino Charge, this figure is going to be very hard to come by. I got very lucky, found him for $10 again out of this World Collectibles, Tesco, Ohio. So if you find this figure for a really good deal, then absolutely buy it. Buying it new might be a challenge, uh, if you live in, I believe it's Canada, and even the UK, this figure is actually quite common for quite a while. I don't know if he still is. It's very easy to find. But, uh, if, you know, if you live in the UK or Canada, good luck finding this figure. It it might be actually quite easy. Again, it's been a while since I last checked, but I don't live up in those locations. I'm obviously American, but... Uh, if you want to get this figure imported as an American, it's like maybe $50, $60 on eBay last I looked. So, you know, that's an option for you. Uh, otherwise, unless they re-release this figure in some capacity, th this is probably going to be still one of the hardest figures to come by of the line. And, you know, the reason for that being is that they never properly announced it until it was already in stores for like a week and a half and then it was sold out by that point so you know it sucks that i missed him on that initial release but i got all the accessories and i got no box so i'm not complaining if, if i'd rather have the accessories of the box i'd have the accessories so thank you guys for watching let me know in the comments below what other figures you want me to see review not just lightning collection or even other video ideas you have and you're like hey why don't you try doing this be sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Usually every Monday I do a Lightning Collection review. Uh, running out of figures to upload though. But anyway, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when videos like this are uploaded to the channel. And thanks for watching guys. Peace.